life will be wonderful. And they said, wonderful. Believe me, it's hard to resist. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for Dreamcasting the Wicked Movie. The what? The skull. Oh. Wicked. <sighs> For this list, we'll be looking at the performers who we think would make the perfect additions to the long-awaited musical film adaptation of the Broadway musical. In November 2021, it was announced that Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo will be playing the leads, Glinda and Alphaba, so we'll be focusing on our ideal casting for other characters. So I couldn't be happier Because happy is what happens when all In the comments below, let us know who you'd like to see join the cast. Number 6. Christian Borel, Dr. Dillamund. He's played everyone from Willy Wonka to William Shakespeare. Oh, hello. Is it good to see me all once? My days are so busy, it's making me dizzy, there's so much I gotta do. It's lunches and meetings and poetry readings and endless interviews. Christian Borel has made a name for himself on the Great White Way, and we think that earns him a place in the land of Oz as Dr. Dillamond. Can you help me? Yeah. Come back tomorrow and make sure you've done your reading. <laughs> the human professor turned goat requires a great deal of sincerity and heart that we believe Borel would be able to capture effortlessly. As essential as Dillamond is to the story, it's also a small role. However, something tells us the character will have a more significant presence in the film adaptation. Given Christian's undeniable talent, he would be the perfect man for the job. I'm best when I cheat, so I'll cheat. Wizard and I'll shot. And I'll kill for that thrill of first love. Number 5. Daniel Radcliffe, Bach. Arguably one of Wicked's most complex characters, Bach requires a strong performer to fill his shoes. Having portrayed one of the most well-known figures in literary and pop culture history, we trust that Daniel Radcliffe would be a great fit for the role. To play Bach, the actor must sing, dance, and convey the Munchkin's journey from Nessa Rose's reluctant companion to Alphaba's nemesis. No stranger to theater, Radcliffe has appeared as the lead in the Broadway revival of How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying and several hard-hitting plays, making him a solid candidate. Oh, aren't you proud to be in that fraternity? From Hogwarts to Oz, Daniel would bring the right amount of magic to the role. <laughs> Number 4. Ali Stroker, Nessa Rose. Just you and I. As one of Broadway's biggest breakout performers in the 2010s, Ali Stroker is well on her way to becoming a true musical theater icon. The Glee Project alum made her groundbreaking debut in the 2015 revival of Spring Awakening, becoming the first female performer who uses a wheelchair to appear on Broadway. No more weeping anymore. She won her first Tony Award for playing Ado Annie in an Oklahoma revival a few years later. But as soon as someone kisses me, I somehow sort of want to kiss him back. I'm just a fool when that's a low. I can't be prissy and quiet. Allie always knocks it out of the park, and that's why we think she'd be the perfect Nessa Rose. Nessa requires strong vocals, and Allie's beautiful voice would serve the character well. Just for this moment, as long as you're mine, I've lost all resistance. Plus, Nessa needs to be performed by an actor that can represent her lived experience authentically. This award is for every kid who is watching tonight who has a disability, 
who has a limitation or a challenge, who has been waiting to see themselves represented in this arena. You are. Number three, Queen Latifah, Madam Morrible. What do you want to hear? What do you want to know? Because I'll find out all the details and secrets for you. Yes, I will. Because I'm Madam Morrible. Mm-hmm. Head shistress at Shiz University, and we welcome you. Madam Morrible is an expert manipulator and over-the-top villain. While she appears to be a harmless headmistress of Shiz University, underneath her iconic green robe lies something more sinister. When Queen Latifah appeared in 2019's The Little Mermaid Live as Ursula, she proved to everyone that she's not afraid to get in touch with her bad side, making her our top pick for Morrible. Those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying, tells us and a please, and I help them. Yes, I do. From Hairspray to Chicago, she knows how to make movie musicals turn to pure gold. Got a little motto, always sees me through. When you're good to mama, mama's good to you. That being said, Wicked fans have speculated how great it would be to see the original Galinda, Kristen Chenoweth, as Morrible. I'd like to be like in the crowd scene, like Where's Waldo, where, we just, <laughs> <laughs> where they just pass by and I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> However, something tells us that Chenoweth would have no problem welcoming Latifah to Oz. Number two, Joel Grey, The Wizard. If you think you know the story of The Wizard of Oz, well, think again. As an original cast member of Wicked, Joel Grey brought the role of the wizard to life. He dazzled packed houses with his wit, charm, and showmanship. It would seem fitting that Grey's performance would seamlessly transition from stage to screen. I need a little more fleshing out of why the wizard does what he does. I and mean, that's always how I work. Uh, I need to know who the character is. He played MC in both the Broadway and film version of Cabaret, and won a Tony Award and an Oscar for the singular role. Money makes the world go around, it makes the world go round. A mark a yen, a buck or a pound, a mark a yen, a buck or a pound. At 89 years young in 2021, Gray has enjoyed an illustrious career and cemented himself as a musical icon. Give him an act with lots of flash in it, and the reaction will be passionate. Give him the old hocus pocus, beat and feather him. Another stage legend we could also see as the man behind the curtain is Andre de Shields. No matter what director John M. Chu decides, it'll be the right choice. But seeing Grey reprising the wizard sounds wonderful to us. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Jordan Fisher, Fiero. Dancing through life, swaying and sweeping, and always keeping cool. Life is thoughtless when you're thoughtless. Charismatic, suave, carefree. These are a few ways to describe Wicked's Fiero. The role requires an actor with lots of confidence and a stunning range, and that's why we're nominating Jordan Fisher. A true musical theater kid at heart, Fisher has appeared in shows like Hamilton, Dear Evan Hansen, and Rent Live. To choice, to the village voice, to any passing fat, to being an us for once, instead of a them. Love me away. He's also proved that he can move like no one's business on Dancing with the Stars. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. I'm just an ordinary Jimmy guy. What can I say? You're welcome. As one of the most coveted parts in the upcoming flick, there are so many actors we'd love to see. Like In the Heights' Anthony Ramos. 
However, since there can only be one, we're keeping our fingers crossed for Jordan, who will surely have us all singing Dancing Through Life long after the credits end. Leave me, I've been kicked out of enough of them to know. That's, that is uh, Dancing Through Life from Wicked. And uh, a really fun, really fun number. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.